Are you ready for fifth grade math? We're going to go over what you should have learned in fourth grade so you'll know. Operations in algebraic thinking use addition, subtraction, multiplication, division with whole numbers to solve problems. That includes word problems, factors and multiples, factor pairs, prime and composite numbers from 1 to 100. Generate and analyze patterns that follow a rule, like plus 3 or divide by 2, and identify secondary features of that rule, like you'll notice an outcome that's not part of the given rule, that maybe the terms ended up being even and odd. Number and operations in base 10. Understand place value for multi-digit whole numbers, read, write, use expanded form, less than, greater than, is equal to, and round to any place value. Use commutative, associative, distributive properties for multi-digit arithmetic. Fluently add and subtract with regrouping and all. Multiply four digits by one digit or two digits by two digits. Use rectangular arrays and area models and divide four digits by one digit and relate multiplication and division. You should also understand remainders. Number and operations fractions. You should understand fraction equivalence and ordering. You should be able to have five-tenths and compare it to three-twelfths by making equivalent fractions and then putting them in order from least to greatest. Compare using half as a benchmark. The importance of comparing based on same size holes. Use visual fraction models. You should be able to build fractions from unit fractions, add and subtract fractions, mixed numbers with or without the same denominator. You should be able to turn them into the same denominator. Solve word problems referring to same whole. Use models and equations. Multiply fractions by whole numbers. Understand fraction multiples. Understand decimal notation for fractions and compare decimal fractions. So a decimal fraction would be like two-tenths is a two numerator and a ten denominator. It's easily turned into a fraction. See that? Or if we have a decimal point 0, 02, that means two one hundredths. And the importance of comparing based on same size holes. Use less than, greater than, equal to for fractions and decimal fractions like these. For measurement and data, solve problems involving measurement and conversion from a larger unit to a smaller unit. We learned about metric units and customary units used in the USA. So can you go from one gallon to four quarts or one meter to 100 centimeters and know that one foot is 12 times longer than one inch? You need to add, subtract, multiply, divide distances, intervals of time like minutes and hours and seconds, liquid volume, mass, money, you need to show quantities using diagrams, number lines with a measurement scale. Use area and perimeter formulas for rectangles and squares. Represent and interpret data using line plots. For geometry, you need to have learned about concepts of angles, measure angles using a protractor, the degrees of a circle, add or subtract angle measures using a variable. You need to have learned about ray, line, vertex, point, endpoint, acute, obtuse, right angle, straight angle, and the angles in reference to circles. Draw or identify lines, line segments, rays, angles, perpendicular lines, parallel lines, points. Classify two-dimensional figures by angles, parallel or perpendicular lines, and recognize and draw lines of symmetry. And to be a successful student with math, you need to persevere in problem solving. Don't quit. You need to reason abstractly and quantitatively and know there's several methods to solve a problem. 
construct viable arguments and identify their mistakes and mistakes of others. Use precision, model with mathematics, strategically use appropriate tools, and look for and use structure and repeated reasoning. If you feel confident that you have learned these lessons from fourth grade, well then yes, welcome to fifth grade. I think you're ready. I'll see you there. Bye.